guys, it's Raziel Kane, and today I'm doing this because I got this for this. And I'm excited about it because I was debating whether to get the uh, it's a buzzwordy bumblebee uh, line, and uh, just the figure you know is more toy accurate. But then I saw a review of the Toy Hacks decals for Cup, and I was like, eh, it's gonna be cheaper to Toy Hacks him than buying a new figure, and then be stuck with an extra cup. So we're gonna take a look at Cup before and after the decals. But before I do so, I want to let you know if you stick around to the end, you can see the discount code for DJC Collectibles, my favorite online store. And you can get 10% off anything Transformers. And before I proceed with the toy axing, please take a look at my voice acting spotlight, the main feature of my channel, something I'm extremely proud of. And now let's apply some stickers. Now let's take old timer. That's something you'll never be if you don't get back to the city. Take a look at Cub before I do him a makeover. Um, he, this figure, you know, this mold has been getting a lot of heat because of the face sculpt. You know, it doesn't look uh, G1 enough, but you know, he looks like uh, he's sucking on the lemon. But I don't think he's that bad. I'm sure we've had worse in the past. I like the addition of the Energon goodies and the uh, his gun. It's pretty good. Um, he does have quite a bit of paint application on the waist, the arm, uh, a little bit here on the legs. Uh, you have the TF logo, the Autobots logo on the leg. Uh, he could use a little more paint. Uh, and this could have been a different color, which they fixed with the Buzzwordy Bumblebee line. So, but I'm still, you know, pretty happy with the figure itself. But the decals look actually interesting. Um, I haven't looked at what goes where, so I can't really tell you, but this, I don't know where this is from. Uh, maybe there's a comic book about it or something like that, but the fact that I have tattoos of Popeye and the heart, and the other one is like super small, trying to get it on camera, and it looks like maybe a horse. I don't know. I'll look it up online and see what it is. So I don't know if I can apply all of this or just one. Uh, if it's just one, it's definitely Popeye I'm gonna pick. And uh, yeah, so that's very interesting. I'm looking forward to see what this uh, this does. So now let's take a look at Cup after. And here we are with Cup after the decals in a completely undignified position, which reminds us of the movie. And I'll get to that in a moment. First, uh, you know, leftovers, not much on this one. Uh, and then the others either. I do have uh, the uh, interior, you know, it goes inside here. Uh, so you pop the windshield uh, and then you add this to improve on the Cybertronian uh, circuitry. But I don't think that um, it's worth the add if you're gonna do the, uh, the cover instead. But, um, you know, if anybody's interested to having this, uh, send me a message and I'll uh, put a stamp on it and send it to you. And then you have the leftover tattoo, which are the heart, and uh, it's it maybe it says olive oil on it. I don't know, but I or mother, but it's uh, my eyes. Uh, I don't have eye problems, but I guess I could use some reader. And then the other thing, I think it's a horse, but it uh, you know it's very detailed. So I think I'm actually gonna add the uh, heart on the other arm because uh, you know by def by default they tell you to. At just one so um, the first thing you're probably noticing is yes I completely ruined my window decal because I dropped it and it glued and then when I gently pulled it back it kind of created that smudgy battle damage look and yes I'm upset but it still looks better than what we have before and it's my fault and I'll you know assume my mistakes it's live and learn uh, it sucks, but it's, you know, it doesn't look super bad, like it's not ripped or anything. It looks, you know, like an old bot with uh, some damage. And it's pretty much what we had with Warfare Cybertron, so, yeah, not too, uh, too upset. But the reason why he's missing limbs is because they have decals here and here to show robot parts when you remove the, uh, the limbs. So that's pretty cool. So now let's redignify him. Uh, put his arm up. Uh, 
for this leg. And let's do a side by side. Remove this. Sorry, I had to rearrange. Now here's a side by side with the original version. And I'm actually very happy with the result. Uh, let's fade it out. All right, uh, first, nothing for the eyes because there's some light piping. And I don't have a setup to show that to you right now, but uh, if you, you know, throw light on this uh, section here, you get some clear eyes. So, and he's actually looking pretty good. You have the new Autobot logo here. Uh, you have belt uh, decals, looks really good. The leg is, the legs is a vast improvement. So are the feet with those two decals, that's pretty good. And okay, you have the Energon Goody decal and it's a paint, uh, cause you have to put one part first and then you wrap it around, like it's a little cross that you put on top and then it folds over the goodie and then you wrap it around in another decal. And I think, the, I'm colorblind, but I think the color's off, like it doesn't, it's not the actual color of Energon, but I don't care, it looks okay. You have wrist decals here, that's pretty neat. And you have the Popeye tattoo. I chose that because uh, growing up, absolutely a Popeye fan. And actually my favorite crossover idea, you know, the crossover I would love to see would be Popeye versus Hulk. There was a picture of that online one day and I was like, oh my God, this is so good. And I need a cartoon of it. And you have the decals here. Like this is very G1 toy. And uh, you have the wrist. And I just knocked my background, congratulations. Anyway, so this is cup. Uh, nothing for the gun, um, unfortunately, but I think I figured it out why there's pretty much never any gun decals because Toy Hacks does have the Toy Hacks Armory, which produce fantastic weapon. I'm actually waiting on a Sunstreaker Red Steel gun. Um, I chose Red Steel for whatever reason, but yeah, I think it makes sense. Business-wise, you know, why would you do decals for guns if you're going to have a whole selection of weapons that you want to promote and sell? So, makes sense that there's no... Uh, gun decals, uh, but you know, in my theory is sound because there's a decal for the Energon goodie. So, you know, I think it makes sense. And you know, that's not me being a big, great conspirationist. That's just business wise. That's what I would do. So fantastic decals all around. Uh, Cup is looking amazing. Let's transform him. Take a look at the vehicle mode. And so far, I'm actually very pleased with this set, even if I completely ruined my windshield. <laughs> And now a quick look at Cub before the decals. He's a good mold. Like the the transformation is is I I have a hard time with it. It's not super complicated, but it's you know you gotta line up everything properly, and so I just find it a little bit annoying. But the result is good. It's a good good mold. It's a, a you know good representation. I mean I think he might have been a little thinner and longer in the cartoon, but overall I'm really happy with this. So uh, one last look at Cub before I do the paint job. And here we are in vehicle mode. And, uh, you know, as I mentioned earlier, the window, what happened with the, the sticker, you know, it shows even more, it seems, uh, in car mode. So, like, you know, live and learn. I'm gonna remove the accessories. Uh, what we get, um, well, first let's do a little side-by-side -side pictures. For people who want to make this uh, truck more cartoon accurate, this won't do it. This is actually a G1 um, set. Like it, I remember my friend having the G1 cup and he had those things here, those lines. And I thought at the time that it was absolutely terrible looking, but you know what? Nah, they, they grow on you. It actually looks really good. Uh, they, you have a new decal here. You have a couple uh, tail lights. You have one on the side here, so a flasher. You have one here, one here, and a little one on this side here. Looks pretty good. Uh, you have that uh, white light here. And then you have this whole back panel. Uh, that's just one big decal. That's pretty cool. Uh, nothing for the top. You have the new headlights here, the new Autobot logo, the window, uh, that line here. You know, the, the, these all add to the uh, vehicle mode. The impressive, not impressive. Well, yeah, actually it's impressive. This is a two-part decal. So basically you apply a completely fully black label on top of the wheel. And then after that, you add another decal um, over that. So it, it's actually a two-layered uh, and it covers the, the whole uh, hubcap. And it's, it's, it's kind of, you know, makes it thicker so that you don't 
punch through it so and it's it looks really good uh, both sides are like that and i i'm really impressed you have a little cover for the rivet here i'm gonna call it a rivet but it might be a pin or whatever but uh looks good what else do we have i think that's it well you have everything that translates from the robot underneath but yeah you know i'm actually really pleased with this uh, this set, it's uh, very interesting what they did. They brought back a lot of nostalgia and uh, it's it's uh, actually easy to apply on this one. So let me put them back in uh, robot mode and then we're gonna do my final thoughts. So in the end, Cup is a fantastic figure. I'm super happy to uh, have done the, uh, the de applied the decals on him. He, he looks great. I'm not gonna get the buzzwordy uh, version because I don't need it anymore because I have this even if I smudge the window. I'm super happy with the, with the result. So thanks for watching guys. Uh, make sure to grab the uh, discount code in the uh, outro. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, subscribe and hit the bell. Also leave a comment. I really love reading you guys. Keep coming back. I have more on the way. And remember, nothing in life gives you the right to be an asshole. Take care.